get started, let's do something that uh, possibly we should all do before we get started. One time when I was working a line, I had a young fella come up to me and hold the box out and go. And I went, no thanks, son, I'm all right. And he said, well, <laughs> needless to say, I needed one. And uh, from that day to this, I carry a box of these with me. The last thing I think we should do is offend people. So, therefore, I try not to. On this video, I'd like to go into some things that I've learned to do with gray and brown balloons, things that I've found and seen others do and come up with on my own. And of course, combining ideas from others and from, from myself and other techniques to make uh, 14 balloons that I think you'll really enjoy. First, I'd like to show you Brian's bunny. Tried to get him to come on video. Brian Mask, a fellow that works with me quite a bit. But uh, he's more camera shy than uh, some other people I know. But on this balloon, you'll need two gray, a white, and a scrap of pink. Taking your gray balloons and filling them all but about four fingers to five fingers width, and your white balloon, fill it a little less so that you have six or seven fingers of balloon on the end. Taking one gray, twist off a small bubble. Taking the white, do the same and twist those two bubbles together. Lock, fold them around, locking the balloon down, making it less likely for the uh, little ones to undo it on you because if it can be undone, they're going to. At this point, you'll take the white balloon grasping it with your thumb and, in, and middle finger, pulling up as you push in with the heel of your hand to make a fold twist. You don't want it to be very big, no more than two or three fingers wide. Do the same thing on the other side. At this point, you can let air in to make it bigger, push air out to make it smaller, to equal the sizes. You want these to be the same size as these are the cheeks. This uh, rabbit was also on the very end of the last video, number four, uh, Beasts and Bugs. Uh, some of you, I'm sure, remember that. Well, here it is. Now you'll do the nose and teeth. At this point, you'll make a bubble about two and a half to two, two and a half to three fingers across. Now that will be one of the sides of the rabbit's face, the, where the whiskers come out, then you'll make two very small bubbles. These will be the teeth. Try and get them as close to the same size as you can. Now, measuring these two bubbles against each other, match them so that you have equal bubbles for the muzzles. Twist that balloon, the white, in around the cheek and the bubbles effectively locking down the air in that bubble. At this point, you will set this aside, well, and you will take your other gray balloon. Now your other gray balloon, you'll go about five fingers. This will be an ear. You can make it longer if you like or shorter. It's up to you. Now you will make about a one finger bubble, not much bigger than your thumbnail. This bubble, you will ear twist before you continue on. Once you've ear twisted that, you will now squeeze off a bubble proportional to the size that you want the back of his head to be. I like mine a little bit longer. This is about four fingers. You may want three. Taking your other balloon, white and gray, that you were working with, and this one, you hold this balloon against the cheek configuration, twisting the rest of it around the muzzle, bringing it back up on top of the two cheeks. And now, match these two bubbles, size for size, grabbing between your index finger and your middle finger and grabbing the one balloon and grabbing with your thumb behind the ear twist like so 
take the two and twist them so that they are now stop back up. I have a leak. How about that editing? <laughs> Modern technology. Doesn't get much better than this. Well, now that the leak's fixed, do what I was saying with the uh, bubbles, making them the same size, twisting the two together. Once you've twisted the two together behind the ear, go ahead and twist the short and long bubbles that you have left together, effectively locking the whole thing together. Now we will use the remainder of this balloon for one of the legs at a later point. At this point though, we want to pull the white balloon. We want to take the uh, back of the head and what will be the ear configuration and take the white balloon and lay it in front of. Now you can either make your eyes large and twist that around by actually adjusting the airflow from the balloon or you can make the eyes smaller. I actually like them smaller because, uh, well, mm, dare I say this, the uh, fellow that this represents has much smaller eyes than this. So I'll actually make them bigger today, but I like them smaller. Now, by you take the balloon and twist it around the head, the white balloon, coming alongside the first eye that you made, you want to, by allowing air in and out to come to the same size. Now take that and take the rest of the white balloon, run it behind the head and up underneath the chins, or I mean up underneath the cheeks and the uh, uh, muzzle configuration. Now I take and make about a two finger bubble this will be the chin, and eh, let's make it a little smaller. About a one and a half finger bubble for the chin. Now this, I lay against my chest, I grab and ear twist, pull it out and ear twist it, effectively giving him a mouth. Going back to the gray balloon, twist off about a two and a half to three finger bubble, taking your white balloon, making a little smaller bubble, about a two finger bubble, spin that around each other, the white and gray, several times, causing it to lock down. Now you'll want to take about a four finger bubble for the uh, upper arm, and then about a one finger bubble. This will be a pop twist in a moment and then another bubble larger. The size of this bubble is insignificant because you're gonna pop it and it's gonna be gone. These two bubbles are the ones you're wanting to size and match coming the other way, doing in reverse the same process, matching these two bubbles closely for size. My perfectionism is getting the better of me. Matching these two bubbles for size taking your gray and white and spinning them around each other again. At this point, you now take about another four finger bubble. This will be the back. This is the back of the neck. This will be the back of the, of the bunny. Taking your white balloon and pulling it down so that the back kind of humps and the belly is a little bit, is quite a bit smaller than the back. Spin that together. Don't forget to do your pop twist. Ear twist the two smaller bubbles of the arms. Fold under with your index finger and thumb of one hand and your index finger and thumb of the other hand. Or no, with your index finger and thumb of one hand and your thumb and index finger of the other hand. Position them so that you can push that bubble up and cause the balloon to split it, twisting it. You guys, if you ever see Mike Decker, thank him for this. I gave him my five bucks. Where's yours? Do the same with the other ear, twisting it, holding your hand, your, your middle finger and your index finger on top of the ear twists that you split, take your scissors or other thing, 
you know, whichever you use, fingernails or other things that you use, pop that bubble between the two, effectively giving him arms. At this point, go back to the gray balloon that is on the bottom of the body, do a full twist like you did with the cheek, making his tail. Now, at this point, I go to the white balloon, twist up a small bubble, pop off the end, let some air out, go down, twist off to make a small cotton tail. You want to have it smaller than the full twist that you made for the tail so that you can insert this into there once you've tied it off. Go ahead and tie it off. Clean up with your scissors or other tools that you use. Hey, come back here. Did you see him try and get away? He didn't even finish and he's on the move. Hopping along. Take and insert that white bubble partially into the bottom not so much all the way through so that it will look like a cottontail on the bottom. Now is when you can take your other balloon off of the head, measure your ears side by side for size. Using the pop technique, uh, I can't remember, probably on most all my videos, but you grasp where you twisted with your pinky and then you push your thumbnails into your index fingers while leaving the balloon plenty of air, inflated in other words, pop. If you, like with Silly Putty, if you move your hands fast, Silly Putty will snap. If you move it slow, it'll stretch. Move it fast and it will pop. Holding down with your pinky so that that doesn't get away. Come back and let a small amount of air out of the gray balloon that you've just pulled off, the uh, unused portion. Tying a knot, leaving a bit of tail. You'll be using this in a moment to tie in here for a leg. Go ahead and tie off the ear. Now, take the gray balloon that you have, hold it in place next to the other balloon gray portion that will be your leg. These two will be legs. Pulling it tight in, to that spot, wrap that gray piece around the uh, tail several times. You now have your legs in place. You'll want your legs to be a little small, a little smaller, a little longer than the arms. Once you've measured a leg longer than the arm, then you'll want to make your basic dog legs, which will be the bunnies or the rabbit's feet. Now using the pop technique, size your heel bubble to the size you want it, grasp and pop off the piece that you don't want while keeping enough to tie. Uh, word to the wise, these tend to come undone very easily in the kid's hands, roll that bubble through. Measure your legs side by side to get an equal footing. <laughs> There's a new one. And then again, measure your feet bubbles to the other foot that you have so that you can get an equal sit of footing. Helps give you a leg up on it all, I guess. Ooh, corny lines. Take and do the same thing on the other side that you did with the first side. And we're almost through. Remember the pink scrap? Take your two teeth that you have in the front, pulling them out, twist them around each other. Take your pink piece, pulling it in tight, twist it around a time or two, pull it in underneath. Let me show you that again. Pull it in between, underneath the two muzzles, under the, in between the mouth and the two muzzles. At this point, you can just wrap it several times around that cheek. Take your scissors, cut the pink and only the pink, because if you cut anything else, he's uh, 